adding to that drama, athletics director Philip Fulmer says he is going to retire. Coach Fulmer says he thinks it's the job of the next athletic director to hire the next head football coach. They say Coach Fulmer is not involved in this investigation. Let's go ahead and bring in 10 News reporter Yvonne Thomas with a little bit more on what has taken place on social media. It has been active to stay the very, say the very least, hasn't it? Russell, absolutely. You know, there was a lot to digest yesterday and today as the days continue. And many people did go and take to social media to air whatever they were feeling about this entire situation. We did ask Fall fans on Twitter how they will remember Coach Jeremy Pruitt's tenure here at UT on Rocky Top. Here's what many of you all had to say. Now, first, the upset wins over Auburn and Kentucky in Pruitt's first year. The Vols took down the 21st ranked Tigers on the road 30 to 24. Less than a month later, Tennessee took down an 11th ranked Kentucky team in Neyland Stadium 24 to 7. And things seem to be going in the right direction despite the Vols finishing 5 and 7 in 2018. But then we got to week one in 2019, and some fans say they will never forget the Georgia State game, where the Panthers beat Tennessee 38 to 30, giving that program its first win over a Power 5 team. Now, things did get better that season. Tennessee made it to the Tax Slayer Gator Bowl and beat Indiana. Fans say that that win did give them hope that Pruitt had turned things around. However, these violations and the 3-7 to seven record had left them disappointed. Now, VFL Chris Rampler said that his thoughts on Jeremy Pruitt's time as head coach earlier today he shared them with us positive that i remember about coach Pruitt is from a from a former player standpoint he was a football coach and is a football coach nothing's changed that he's leaving the university and you really liked his no nonsense attitude about just being you know a football coach and, and you felt like he was there for the players and uh that that meant a lot um on the negative side it just seemed that um coach Pruitt had a hard time adjusting to being a head coach, um, and but I thought he was doing better in years two and three, um, but evidently somebody thought different. Now, a couple of things that some fans have mentioned is that they want to see the next coach, the next head coach, be here for a very long time, and some students agree with the move, but we heard that more are disappointed in Vol Nation. When we figure out they're doing something fishy, something weird with recruiting and things like that, um, we want to get that image out of here as much as possible, move on, and become a great football team like we should here in the SEC. I've lived in Knoxville my whole life. I grew up with Lane Kiffin and Butch Jones and Derek Dooley, and now it's just another cycle and another coaching search and another disappointing time to be a Vol fan. I'm going to bring back in Russell Bivin right now just to talk more about what a crazy day it was yesterday, how it's going to be different in the weeks yeah, to come. Yeah, it certainly was crazy, and hopefully I'm, I'm optimistic about how it's going to be different in the months to come and the years to come, quite frankly. We'll continue to talk about that.